Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to see what are the configurations that has to be made in the POS to include the calamity cess along with GST tax in your day-to-day -day billing. Kerala government has recently imposed calamity cess for the products that are having 3% GST and above 5% GST. However, products with 5% GST will not have calamity cess. This is applicable only for unregistered local customers and not applicable for other state customers and B2B business models. First of all, make sure you are updated to the latest POS version that is RC155 and above. To enable the calamitous tax, go to Registration Master. Here you can see that for the state name Kerala, there will be one more option called Calamity Says Included. Here just click on Edit and applicable only for B2C. Set the date range as 1st August. Now click on Register. So now it's successfully selected. These changes have been implemented in the server system. If you have any client system, please log off and log on so that the same changes will be reflected in the client system as well. Now we will see how these changes are reflected in sales bill. Click on sales bill and here select a customer who is having a GST type of unregistered. First I will show you how tax inclusion happens normally before calamity tax is implemented. I am selecting 3 items, one is toothpaste, having 18% GST, one is precious stones and another one is sugar. You can see that for the toothpaste, when I click on more details, there is an 18% of tax. For precious stones, the tax percentage is 3% and for sugar, 5%. Now I will show you how calamity tax inclusion will happen after August 1st. I am selecting customer of Raghu. Again, I am just selecting the same three products which I have selected earlier. The more details you can see that for the toothpaste. Earlier it was 18% but now it has become 19%. For precious stones earlier it was 3% and now it become 3.25%. Earlier sugar it was 5% and now it remains the same. From this you can see that for a GST percentage of 5% and above a calamity tax of 1% is included and for less than 5% GST 0.25% is included and for 5% GST no calamity tax is included. Now we will move on to print design. Here, select the build print you are using and click on enable editing. When you click on F7, field selection, choose tax summary. Here, you can see that. There is two options, one is calamity says percentage and one calamity says amount. Please select both the options and click on create. Field generated successfully. Now you can see that both the fields have been included in the created section and if you want to search it, you can search it under tax summary field. It is calamity says amount. If I want to include it in my bill print, I just want to drag it and drop it here. Once I drop it, I can preview it here. So you can see that like the calamity says amount has been shown as a split up. In this way, in your bill print, you can show your customer what is the GST and calamity split up. So next, we will move on to reports. Click on reports, sales sales register I am selecting for today select on column operations column height show 
search for calamity cis amount you can see that both the options calamity cis amount and amount on others will be defaultly enabled if you want to edit you can edit it later and click on ok there will be two columns included calamity cis amount and calamity cis amount on others The same can be viewed in smart reports as well. Click on smart reports. Click on reports, sales, analysis, sales register. Here. Click on display option. Here, search for calamities. Enable both the options and save. You can see that at the end there will be two columns with calamity says amount and amount on others. These reports can be useful for you to view the calamitous amount split up after billing. Thanks for watching the video. If you have further more doubts, kindly contact our support team via chat.